Yo, what is going on guys? Jack here, and welcome to episode 14 of my Tracksuit to the Top series here with Lewis FC in the Vanarama Conference South. Hopefully you guys are good. Today I have for you guys the live calm against Lincoln City in the FA Cup second round. Still can't quite believe how well we've progressed in this tournament. If you missed last episode, you missed a fantastic first round replays. We did beat Shrewsbury Town 2-1, an absolutely incredible result. And even in Matthew Lewis grabbing two goals which saw us come from one goal behind to win 2-1 in the last 10 minutes. Since then, three games to tell you about, two in the league. We kicked things off with a game against Haven and Waterlooville, one of our rivals at the top of the table. Unfortunately, a really poor performance here. We actually lost 2-1, which was a real shame. It meant they closed the gap on us at the top. We still do retain our first place kind of lead despite this result. And the one other league result we had, which was a 2-2 draw against Whitehawk. Uh, as you can see here, Neven grabbing himself a brace again here and the Man of the Match award. Other game that we played in this period was in the FA Trophy. This one was against Farnborough Town. As you can see, we ended up winning this one 3-1. It was the FA Cup, uh, or rather FA Trophy, which is the equivalent of the FA Cup for non-league teams. So I'm not too bothered about this competition, but you know we progressed nevertheless. Matthew Lewis grabbing himself a hat trick. Anyway, that brings us on to today's game. Not too many games to tell you about because of the kind of rapid succession in which the, these FA Cup fixtures have come. Uh, but this one is against Lincoln. Looking at Lincoln, you can see last year they finished 15th in the Vanarama Conference. However, they did finish second, or rather are finishing second at the moment in the league. Uh, if we look at their kind of run, I guess, in the competition, you can see in the fourth qualifying round they beat Tamworth, uh, who are in the Vanarama Conference North. Uh, they only beat them 1-0. Um, and then they beat Cheltenham Town, who of course are a League 2 team, and they beat them 2-1. So, they've had a kind of not an easy route themselves, you know, they've beaten a team in the higher division to them. Looking at it, they've kind of had a similar run of fixtures we have in terms of the time between games. They've also had a little bit of an off run of late. So neither team's coming into this game like super hot. You can see looking at it, they've got a few players missing from their squad um, who aren't going to be able to play. The only player for us who can't play is Ben Bacon who unfortunately is injured with a damaged elbow. Not a long term injury so I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, let's get into today's game and we are going to be playing, as I mentioned, against Lincoln City who lost 2-1 in their previous game to Woking. So this is not going to be an easy game. We are away from home. In terms of how I want to set up for this game, I'm not sure. Um, we're away from home so I'm kind of tempted to go with a similar system to what we played against Shrewsbury Town and then see if we can do some work. But I feel like that was a little bit too defensive. So on that note, I'm going to pretty much play our standard shape, I think, of the 4-4-2 that served us fairly well um, in recent years. And uh, when I say recent years, we're only a year and a half into the save, but it certainly served us well so far. So yeah, uh, we'll go with this system, I think. In terms of who's going to play, um, I'm going to play Lapsley and... Um, Branford as our two centre mids. Robinson retains his kind of spot on the right wing. He's not been as much in the spotlight this season uh, on this save just because we've had uh, Lewis doing all the work for us. But he's played well. 18 appearances, a 7.11 average rating for Joe Robinson out on the right. Sam Cole will retain his position out on the left that he's held for the last two years. He's played very well for us again. Another player averaging way above a 7.0 rating. Um, at the back... We are full strength. I'm going to continue to play Banks in goal in the FA Cup. Ricky's been doing a really good job for us there. All in all, full strength side. Perhaps Ben Bacon the only real miss for us. But we go into this game knowing that we are not favourites. Knowing that we could potentially get a huge tie in the third round of this FA Cup. Depending on who we get drawn against. But we do have to take this one game at a time. This is a big game. Lincoln City, the second in the conference. Of course, that is one league above us. We did, of course, beat Shrewsbury Town, a league one side last game. So we have a little bit of a reputation, perhaps, for killing off Giants. But this is a, a completely different task in terms of Shrewsbury Town, a lot more quality. Um, you know, I never really anticipated we could beat them. Whereas Lincoln City... They're beatable. I really do feel like they're beatable, which is why we're going attacking against Samira. Sam Cole whips it into Neven, who heads it in. Ten minutes. That is his 21st goal of the season. We take a lead here. What a goal that was. A great ball into the box by Sam Cole. Neven arriving. That is his 21st goal of the season. And we are only just into December, I do believe. So that's an incredible goal for him. And he retains his goal-scoring record. But... 
we've got to keep our focus now. We've got to maintain it. This early goal could be a disadvantage in terms of the players might get a little bit carried away. Looking at it though, fairly 50-50 game. Not many chances going either way. Not something that I'm particularly worried about. And right now, we're looking fairly good for our lead. Lincoln yet to hit our target, or hit the target, on our goal. So that is really good. If we could take this into half-time, I'd be a very happy bunny. As I mentioned, I do feel like this game is winnable. And right now, we are in a fairly good position here. Not the most entertaining first half, but it's a win. And a win that I really wanted us to get. And hope that we can get. And we're leading. A lead at the break isn't I... I, I kind of anticipated but didn't want to get too carried away with. But we are going to now have to maintain our focus. Lincoln are probably going to step things up in the second half. They've got a chance here. Set piece. Boyce find some space. Was that Banks with a save? I think it was. Incredible stuff by him in goal. Ricky Banks has been our real saviour in this FA Cup run. 60 minutes and we have a chance here. Page. Options in the middle if you want it. Bramford. Neven. Lewis. That was a clear-cut chance and half. We've just hit the woodwork and had the keeper deny us. That was the chance to make it 2-0. Perhaps give ourselves some breathing room. Unfortunately, the keeper and then the post denying us there. But all in all, we are really taking the game to Lincoln, which is really pleasing to see. This game is a good way to gauge how we might do next season. Lincoln, of course, our second place in the conference uh, at the moment. As I mentioned, they are missing a few first-team players, but regardless, we are giving them a good game right now. But they are on the attack here. It is still only 1-0. There's options there. That is a poor ball into the box. In fact, I think it was a shot. Regardless, some poor finishing there. Looking at our players, Billy Roast is a little bit tired, but I don't want to change around our midfield too much. Um, Lapsies had a uh, pretty poor game, so I'm actually going to bring in, I think, Mason Bush for him, but then play Bush in the deep line, playmaker role. Just get some fresh legs in the midfield, keep things um, lively there, you know. There's nothing worse than kind of losing your two sentiments, particularly in a 4-4-2. Um, players' fitness dropping could be a, a big disadvantage. What can be an even bigger disadvantage is when the centre back, who wasn't the one struggling with fitness, gets an injury and has to be taken off. Jamie Horncastle is going to come on here, going to tell him I have faith in him too. But that is a shame. Lewis Talak, a real rock at the back for us, unfortunately having to go off. And now we have to defend with a little bit of a makeshift back for us. Lincoln Arkerman on the attack here. Burrow deflected. But deflected wide. I think the initial shot was going wide. So perhaps a little bit of luck there for us. But we live to fight another day. Although Lincoln's still on the attack. We deal with that there. And the keeper should collect. He will. 17 minutes left. And at this point I'm going to go just a defensive. We're going to go a bit more structured. We're going to go more direct. And we're just going to try and defend out these last few minutes. If we can. Only 10 minutes left on the clock. Still holding on to our lead, but Lincoln on the attack again here. Bit of scrappy play in the midfield, but Nolan finds some space. Look at them, they're stretching us wide. The ball makes its way into the box, it hits the crossbar. The rebound is hit home by Lincoln. In fact, no it's not, it's a Rowstone goal. A really poor play by him there. What happened here? The ball hits the crossbar and it comes down and Roast goes there to challenge and it just kind of hits him on the back of the head. That's a real shame. Roast has been one of the standout performers for us this year, so for him to contribute to their goal hurts that little bit more. However, it looks like we're going to be going to another two-legged FA Cup tie as this is going to finish 1-1. Now, because I've done a lot of episodes of very kind of... Um, frequently of late and I don't want to kind of do another episode just to do the replay what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to come back for the second leg immediately now and uh, we will have that rematch against Lincoln City which is actually going to be taking place in 11 days time so guys uh, bear with me I will be back in two minutes with the FA Cup third round draw who we could be playing against as well as the game against Lincoln City Okay guys, so we are back and uh, just a quick thing here is the FA Cup third round draw for you guys. So you can see the winner of ourselves and Lincoln will be playing Hull City in the third round, which is a pretty big tie. 
Uh, it could be a big one on the money front, could be a big one if we can get anything from this. Look at this goal scorers in the competition. Neven's up there, seven goals so far in the FA Cup. If he can keep that going, that would be incredible. But anyway, yeah, we have got this game. I'm not going to cover the other games we played in too much detail, but we did beat Concord Rangers 4-1, and then we beat Gloucester 1-0 uh, in the FA Trophy. So good results there, but we need to focus on the here and now. And here is the squad that we have, and... Um, Hopefully we can actually get the result here that I think I think we can get, um, and hopefully that you know that would see us play Hull, which would be absolutely incredible. Not only for our finances, but just for, in terms of a, a kind of an, a, it's a milestone, I guess, that's been achieved at a kind of a what would you call it? And I want to say an achievement, but I feel like it's more than an achievement in terms of progress. A milestone, a milestone. That was the word I was looking for. It's kind of it. It's. It will mark us kind of moving on as a club, I feel, if we could get this result and then go into the third round. You know, it would kind of put Lewis FC on the map just that little bit. FA Cup certainly doesn't have the magic in real life that it has anymore, but you can imagine if Lewis made it to the third round, it, you'd be raising some eyebrows in the footballing world. So maybe we can do that here. We are going to have to take on Lincoln City. I am sticking with our standard 4-4-2 shape that we play in the league, our more attacking one. We are at home here. We showed last game that we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Lincoln side. I'm hoping we can do more of that here. But anyway, Lincoln having a fair bit of the ball, and now they're working the ball into the box, and to be honest, that's a very, very good goal by Lincoln. Jordan Burrow with the goal there, he was just lurking at the back post, and he absolutely rifles it in. I can only assume that was a volley. Getting plenty of men behind the ball, but Newton finding some space out wide, and then Burrow just scissor kicks it in, and... Yeah, not a lot you can do about that as the keeper. Uh, I am sticking with Ricky Banks in goal. Of course, he's been playing a key role in this FA Cup run so far. Looking at the stats, you can see very 50-50 games. Lincoln certainly not running away with it, but there are very few chances for either team right now. Uh, as Lincoln will pick up the ball here on the attack. Page gets the ball, though. No one really pushing out, giving him options. The only one's Neve in there, but he is just too far away to be found and Mars gets the interception now Burrow with a chance good block there really denying Lincoln a chance to extend their lead further and from the corner they hit it over maybe 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 we are being outclassed just a little bit by Lincoln right now I don't want to change anything too much because we're not playing terribly but at half time we'll, but we'll have a bit of a reflection on the side and maybe make some changes accordingly you can see here Right now, Lincoln one nil up. It's not been an entertaining game. Uh, I'm going to tell the players I expect to see a much better second half. They're loving it. I'm also going to tell them now that I have faith in them because you can probably see there's a few players who are listening nervously. Hopefully, going to give them some confidence by telling them, you know, yes, I do have faith in you to really make a difference here. I'm going to change our wingers to attack, I think. And I'm also going to change the deep line playmaker to an advanced playmaker just to maybe get a few men and add some link up play because from what I could see in that first half we were defending well but there was no one there for the out ball um, as we kind of played out. But you can see here that we're taking a little bit more of the play in the second half. But Lincoln's still holding on to that lead. We are inflicting a few injuries on them too. But there's got to come a time here where I start chasing the game. And I think that time is now. I'm going to go to our more attacking formation. We are going to turn the screw. I'm also going to swap Lewis and Neven's positioning around like that. And uh, we're going to go for this game now in the second half. Tactical changes have been made. Let's see if they can make an instant return as Bacon's there. Robinson to Muggeridge. Back post. Lewis is there. He makes it 1-1. We're going to stick with the system. Matthew Lewis with his 26th league goal of the season. The youngster who, of course, we grabbed as a free agent with a fine goal there. Um, Muggeridge then with the cross in and at the back post. Lewis is there to bury it on his weaker foot. He's a player who I'm keen to keep at the club for as long as I can. He's currently a League 2 um, or he would be a star League 2 player. He's playing for us in the conference. We are his first club. But I can't ramble on too long about that because now Lincoln are on the attack and we need to defend and we haven't defended. Alan Power makes an instant response for Lincoln who now go 2-1 into the league. Uh, Robinson there able to pass it across to Power and Power just buries it home which is a real shame. But we can't let ourselves get too dejected yet. There is still time to make the comeback. We are still playing some nice football but we do now have a mountain to climb as they give us the ball back thank you very much 
Great pressure there by us, and Matthew Lewis grabs his second of the game. Pretty much straight from the kickoff, the left back for Lincoln Newton just put under some pressure by Robinson, and he just he sells the centre back short. He doesn't seem to know whether he's going for the centre back or the keeper, and we bounce straight back, making it two two. This game has burst into life in the second half after a pretty tame um, first half. The second half is just suddenly, you know, it, it, it's happening. Hopefully, we can be the team that come out of this on top. We've kind of we played a lot better in the second half. Lincoln were running away with it a little bit in the first half. We've gone to our more attacking tactic. We've put some more pressure higher up the pitch. And Lewis back post hits the post. That could have made it 3-2. Ball still there. Robinson kicks it straight at the keeper. We've just hit the woodwork. That was the chance to make it 3-2. And for Lewis to complete his hat trick. Right now, we seem to be having a lot of the play here. This would go to extra time if it continues to be a draw. We've got a few players who are a little bit tired. Ben Bacon is tired. I'm going to bring on Branford into the deep line playmaker role. Again, getting those fresh legs in the midfield. But this could well go the distance, although you know there's still time. We have been known to score and concede late goals so far this year. And Ball is pumped up there. A keeper's coming out for it. Kicks it straight to Branford. Johnson or Robinson even. Neven. Cole. Is that a penalty? It is a penalty. Four minutes left on the clock. Lewis FC here with a chance to make it to the FA Cup third round. It's going to be Lewis to take it. Come on, my son. He buries it. He completes his hat trick. That's his 28th goal of the season. He has turned up for this match. A big match player, Lewis. Matthew Lewis, what a penalty. What a second half for him. What a second half for the team. We have been superb this game, and that penalty... Is what we deserve. And I'm not going to switch to defensive. I'm not going to switch to more conservative. Because when I did that in the first leg. We conceded. We're just going to stick with this. And there's not long left. Neven could have had a chance there. It doesn't matter. It's full time. 3-2. What a comeback. Superb. Matthew Lewis bails the team out. Neven still top goal scorer in the tournament. He gets a hat trick in 17 minutes. And my word, what a result, guys. That will see us go into the FA Cup against Hull. Holy crap, we get given some really decent money as well for the win. I have no idea if that game's going to be on TV, but there's a chance it might be against Hull. I don't know if it's going to be, we'll find out soon. But either way, that's some incredible money in the bank. We have suddenly got a good bank balance too the FA Cup is so good for the little teams to raise some money and praised and they take the plaudits for my half time words Lewis on form for us what a player he has been that is incredible guys uh, I think there's little doubt when we'll be back for the next episode it will be that game against Hull away from home it's not going to be easy but you know what we've gone on an incredible run so far and if it can go a little bit further, that would be even better. Uh, thank you for watching this video if you've watched all this point. A bit of a double header for you with these two games against Lincoln. What a way to cap off this cup run. Can we keep it going further? You guys are going to have to stick around to find out. Uh, that's going to wrap things up from me. Thank you so much for watching, as I already said. If you've enjoyed the video, smash the like button. If we could get, I don't know, 500 likes for this episode, that would be absolutely incredible. And other than that, it is me, Jack. Hopefully you'll join us next time where we will be taking on Hull City in the FA Cup third round.